everyone. Welcome to another Chit Chat with Mandy and Carol. I'm Mandy, the board gaming pinup girl. And I'm Carol, also known as Carol Has No Tan. So today we're going to be taking a look at the game Halapagos. Halapagos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's lots of shipwrecking and starvation might be happening here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe a little. <laughs> If you want to get to a certain part of our video, you can just check for the timestamps below. It'll take you to the part you want to see. So, Carol, I think we're ready to see a little bit of gameplay. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Let's check it out. Hello, and welcome to the Galapagos Islands. Stay for a vacation where you can tan in the sun, fish, take long walks on the beach, and get bitten by snakes. Galapagos, a travel experience like no other. Compete with 3 to 12 players as shipwrecked survivors on an island with the aim to work together to build enough rafts to escape the island before the hurricane comes. On your turn, you'll collect food and water to collectively feed each other. Don't have enough for everyone at the end of the round? Uh oh! Vote as a group on who gets to die of starvation! Don't feel like taking care of everyone's dietary well-being? Search a shipwreckage for items! Some are more useful than others. Don't feel like that either? Go for a walk in the jungle to bring back wood to build a raft! You'll need six wood to build one raft. One raft can hold one person. Be brave and search deeper in the jungle for wood. But watch out, there's a sneaky snake. And if you get bitten, you're sick and unable to vote or keep people from voting you off. Galapagos! You come for the sun, and you stay for the fun! Betrayal! So now we're ready to give our review for Galapagos. So Carol, what'd you think? So the premise of the game is right up my alley. It's a social game where you're on an island mm -hmm. <laughs> with not enough food or water and you have to vote people out. <laughs> and you know, like the idea of it, I am in love with. Like I love social games like that. Like I love things like Werewolf and Resistance. Um, but like games like that, it's very dependent on the people you play with. So mm -hmm. I've had mixed results playing this game, even though I love the the things that they, they let you do it. I love the setting and everything. It's just right. when we played it with, you know, a group of designers and whatnot, everyone was just so cooperative with each other and <laughs> It was really boring to be honest. Like one guy had a gun and he's like, I'm gonna shoot you for no reason. Because you can get a gun in the game, you can get a bullet, and you need a bullet right. in your gun and shoot someone randomly and then that person gets eliminated instead of getting them voting out, right? Yeah. Well that's it's fun to have some random element, but mm, I, I just it, it, you can get such a polarizing <laughs> experience. That's the only problem I really had. Honestly, I don't know if you felt that way or not. So I played it in a few different settings. The first time I played it with was with other board game reviewers, actually. And, you know, we're being silly. And then we were there at the booth, you know, at the area that uh, sells the game. So, you know, we were kind of immersed in it and we were having fun. I did feel it went on a bit long, but I think it's because we were chatting and stuff and, you know, trying to clarify some rules. Um, but, I mean, we had fun. So it was a fun time because deduction games any kind of elimination type games any type of these these types of games in particular i am not a huge fan of i elimination games it just i felt like especially when we played it the second time in this case people were out early and then they basically had to watch us finish the game and it's not like it was done in five minutes i mean it was done in like what 15 20 minutes and that's a long time for someone to sit around and just kind of do nothing so that mm -hmm. part of it i wasn't crazy about i mean it was it was neat to manage your resources and decide okay like legit we are going to have to kill people off which you're right wasn't really happening the first game i played oh my gosh people were pointing <laughs> fingers and guns and whatever left right and center yeah. but you know we were being silly um but it did extend the game Mm -hmm, definitely. It did extend the game quite a bit uh, versus when we did this way. You're right. Everyone's a little bit more polite, but I do find the game went a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I won the game. I don't even know how that happened when we played it that <laughs> time, but certainly I'm, you know, crafty. But um, 
<laughs> but uh, you're right. People weren't taking advantage of the fact that we need to kind of bow people off mm-hmm. um, in order to get, you know, uh, get us all on the boat and mm-hmm. be fed. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah. I, like I said, for me, the biggest issue was people being voted off and then sitting around kind of just waiting or hanging out while we were finishing. Yeah, like, that's the thing with games that are dependent on the dynamic of the group you're playing with. Like, if, let's say, I played this with another group that um, uh, was very familiar with the nuances of, like, the whole social stuff, like in Survivor, for example. Like, you have the people who get eliminated there as well, but then they're still participating and, like, they're still active in the game because they're like, right. oh, no way, you just did that, no way, right? Like, you know, you get <laughs> moments like that and then they still yeah. feel part of it and not so right. much like, oh, you're going fishing, oh, right. you're going in the woods, and it's like, everything's so nice and pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> like, there just needs to be more like drama or something going on just to keep that person involved and be like oh like you completely tricked that person or, or something right. right cause like you know you can give someone like uh, dirty water and get them like <laughs> infested <laughs> and things like that and like that's like that is how you would keep someone involved if they were eliminated but it's it's so hit and miss if it's not that way that the game is going you know what I mean right like, right. it, it, like, if it's played in the way that I'm imagining it to be played, like, you know, it, it's amazing. It's just, <laughs> you know, like, you're not always going to get that. And, like, there are always going to be, like, people who probably want to play nicely and stuff. And, like, yeah. you know, work together and then whatever. But, you know, there, there are the people who, maybe like me, purposely don't want to look yeah. for food or purposely right. don't want to look for water. Just, like... Let's force someone to get voted out, you know what I mean? <laughs> so shake it up a little bit. Exactly. Maybe perhaps immerse yourself in the actual role of it. You're stranded. Do you really need to feed all these people? I don't think so. You want to yeah. get them out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but with that being said, like, you know, I, I like the tools that they give you to play with. Um, yeah. The, the rule book didn't quite make that clear, though. Like, um... We, we were stuck on whether we could trade cards with each other or not, and like there was like a sentence that kind of said in passing that made it seem like like mm-hmm. you can infer that, oh, I can actually give items to people, but we weren't playing it like that because it wasn't clear that we could. Yeah, the first time. yeah, yeah exactly. So. Because I, mean, I could have been like, oh, hey, you're hungry, here you go, and it's like underwear. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like one of those useless items. Yeah. So. Yeah. But I did find the rule book was a little in some spots. Even when we played it the first mm-hmm. time and we were kind of fine, something we're like, okay, we're, it was it seemed a little difficult to navigate for something that wasn't overly complicated. Mm-hmm. So yes, I would agree on that part. But I did like the bag when you went fishing and it was like the burlap sack, yeah. you know, with the, the wooden with the balls, balls. and yeah. yeah, so I thought that was really cool. And I mean, that's a nice touch to the game. So it makes you feel like you're immersed in the theme a little bit. Mm-hmm. So that, I mean, that part was nice. Do you find it was similar to any type of game? Like, I guess it would be similar to any of those kind of elimination type games. Yeah, exactly. I think, like, probably the closest thing would be something like Werewolf. Um, right. Like, if Werewolf met Survivor, that would be what this is, basically. Right. But I, right. I, I think it's almost exactly like Survivor. It's not, not the part where, like, you know, you have to build the raft and whatnot. And, but right, that right, would right. be the thing the closest to it, I think. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I was like, that that does sound relatively similar. So for me, this game, I this is not a game for me. Yeah. Um, I just like I said, for me, I'm just not really into this genre of game. However, if you like, you know, those kinds of deduction type games or, you know, you're, you know, you just like being mean. <laughs> Let's be honest. You know what I mean? Get yeah. to the point. This will be a game for you. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like if you're fans of like werewolf resistance coup those types of games and it's funny i actually really like coup i think it's great but it's short mm-hmm. you get eliminated you're not eliminated for long do you mm-hmm. know what i mean yeah. it's a very short period of time and that's what i feel needs to happen with types of games like this mm-hmm. so i did find that i did, wasn't a big fan of people just sitting there sure so yeah, yeah no that's fair like for for me i think uh, for a group of people who are willing to house rule a few things and people who right. love chaos like this is a game that gives you you know, a platform to have that kind of fun, right? But, like I said, 
If you have a group of people who don't like to think that way, they want to cooperate or like they're too nice to step on toes like that, it's gonna fall flat because that's not what the game is thriving on. It wants to spark up that chaos. It wants you to vote people. It wants you to like hide the good cards and not share it. Like it's it's right. perfect for people who are just jerks, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Pretty much so. You like to be mean and jerky, this is the game for you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it just makes it, I think, more fun, perhaps, for the people that are playing. For sure. You know, and it will push that time frame of not dragging. So for me, it's not a game that I particularly would play often. I mean, if a group wanted to play it, I would, but it's not something that I think I need to own in my collection. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, I I like the game um, quite a bit. Um, I think there is a place for it in my personal collection. I just have to be very careful about who I bring it to. Right, right. Yeah. And that's and that's, that's what it comes down to, right? Sometimes it's just the people you play with. I know for me this would not not fare well with the majority of my group, but like I said, it's just not the type of games we play. But if you like those types of games, you will like this, but you really have to go all out. Don't be mm -hmm. nice. Be a little mean. Yeah. <laughs> or cunning. <All> right. <laughs> Or cunning, sure, me yeah. and cunning. I feel like these are, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's how we're going to end it. <laughs> so that's our review. I totally had a brain fart. This is what happens when you're tired. <sighs> Halapagos. Thank you. <laughs> that's our review for Halapagos, and we'll see you next time. Bye.